орки, вот, они учатся, как делать не надо, и делают вот именно так. Сбились в кучу потеряшки. Вот им туда тут же прилетело сюрприз. Вот они начали суетиться, разбегаться, сообразили, что делают что-то не так. Или, может, просто испугались, но не сообразили. Тело решило сдаться. Ему везет, будет жить. Скинул рюкзачок, броник. Вот, вот приличный человек решил сдаться. Если повезет, будет служить в РДК. Вот еще один, походу, решил присоединиться пассажир. Второй решил сдаться. Еще один раздевается. Это к вопросу русские не сдаются. Сдаются сегодня уже там за десяток. При этом отметим, что благородно, в отличие от них, их никто не расстрелял. Тряпки их валяются, автоматы, оружие покидали и сдаются. Не осуждаю. Чем воевать за Путина, лучше сдаться в Украине. Да, скобию бы стоило это посмотреть. Она любит громкие лозунги, но дураков есть, конечно, вражки. Сложно перевести, но сдаются. И вот еще два тела тоже решили последовать примеру товарища, остаться в живых. Ну вот еще два сдаются, и того пять принявших. Вот наш боец. Ох, дядя, я выкрашаю Ахмата. The successful destruction of the Rostov on Don showed that the Russian submarines that remain in the Black Sea are effectively trapped. They cannot leave the sea and there is nowhere to service them, writes the military analytical portal Defense Express. The Rostov-on-Don submarine was hit by Storm Shadow stroke scalp cruise missiles on September the 13th, 2023, while in dry dock at the Sevastopol Marine Plant. By June of this year, they were able to patch it up so that it could just stay afloat, and they towed it to Kilen Bay, where the 13th ship repair plant is located. Repairs were supposed to continue there, but on August the 2nd, the submarine was hit by another missile in the side and apparently sank. That is, now the Ukrainian Defense Forces have a proven capability to destroy Russian submarines in the still-occupied Sevastopol, which are not only in dry dock, but also in the wall. And this is a very important aspect, because in the Black Sea in the Russian Federation, there are three more submarines of the similar Varshavyanka project, B-265 Krasnodar, B-268 Veliki Novgorod, and B-271 Kolpino, as well as the Paltus project B-871 Al Rosa, writes Defense Express. As analysts note, it was the Sevastopol marine plant that was the main repair base for Russian submarines in the Black Sea. And even then, sometimes it was necessary to drive the boats around all of Europe to Kronstadt to carry out certain types of repair work there. However, the Turkish Straits are currently closed to Russian military ships due to the war. It is also highly questionable whether it will be possible to transport them via the system of rivers and canals along the route through the Don and Volga. In theory, ships can still be repaired in Novorossiysk, but the plant there has never dealt with submarines. That is, in the Russian Federation, all submarines are currently left without the possibility of full repairs because for this they need to be driven under attack to occupied Sevastopol. At the same time, the operation of all three Varshavyankas in the Russian Federation is extremely active and the frequency of their repairs and maintenance is higher than peacetime standards, the experts note. Defense Express acknowledges that this does not mean that these boats will be out of service tomorrow but without proper ongoing maintenance, the likelihood of a breakdown or even an underwater accident when going out to sea increases significantly. 
the submarine's downing is likely to fuel fears among Russian authorities that spies are tipping off Ukrainian commanders about the best times to strike, the Telegraph reports. Let us recall that on September the 13th, 2023, occupied Sevastopol came under missile attack and a large-scale fire was reported on the territory of the marine plant. It soon became known that the submarine Rostov-on-Don and the large landing ship Minsk had been damaged during the attack. In mid-July, it was reported that the occupiers had allegedly completed its repairs. On August the 3rd, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported the effective destruction of the Russian Black Sea Fleet submarine Rostov-on-Don.